How's it going? Michael here. Um, today, day two of our bear hunt. Well, it's our third day on the island, but day two of the bear hunt. Marcus just put his boat in. Just wanted to inform you guys that the main cam does not have a good mic on it today. So the footage off of that camera is probably not going to be that great. Or the audio. The footy will be always sick, as you guys know. Sick GoPro footage today. Today's gonna be a lot of GoPro when we're traveling, and then uh, I'll do my best to film uh, with the big cam when we get out. But uh, that's kind of the risky run coming out here to Southeast Alaska. And this, I mean, it's really not that bad right now, it's just kind of a misty rain. But everything does get wet though, yeah. It's like whenever it's like this, it's like you don't feel like it, but then all of a sudden you're just soaked. Like, this yeah. takes longer, so. dude. Check out those giants. Oh man, look at that. Starfish. That's cool. But anywho, we're about to uh, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're about to set sail. I forgot my pack cover on this trip too, so I got a garbage bag. But yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna work this whole shore today. The opposite side shore we saw few bears out that way last night and then we saw one in this cove this morning and uh that's kind of the plan here so let me get all my crop together and uh set sail pretty freaking handy though yeah it's way better than blowing this thing up by your mouth <laughs> oh <laughs> god in two hours <laughs> crappy <laughs> Here you can see Michael Parenti boarding his vessel. It's a great, he's very graceful in his, his technique. Now he's waterborne. He's ready to go. <laughs> Whenever you narrate, you gotta give yourself an accent. I'm not sure what this is. It's either Australian, British, combination. Parenti is making way. He's looking for bears, maybe some sea creatures. No bears to be found yet, though. That's my boy right here. Freaking crazy. Crazy dude. <laughs> we like to have fun. Spotted a bear. Same spot as the one that keeps ghosting us, but it looks different, so I'm gonna see if it's the same one or not. I think it's a big one. They've all looked big to me, which is a bad sign. If they all look big. How do you cut the distance? Look. Yeah, we gotta go through the trees. Yeah, he's like 700 yards or so, probably. Yeah, I just hate when they make it to the tree. I want you exactly where you want to go. A little bit. You hit him twice. That's the bear. Yeah. I saw it because it's just jet black and then his ears are on the side. But yeah. 
his fo shoulder was a little forward, so I just put it right on the shoulder. I just looked at the footage and it's hard to tell, but it kind of looks like I hit him back. And so I'm gonna we'll try to put him under board in it if he needs it. I don't know, I'm nervous. But I don't know if I'm making the right decision or not, but we'll, we'll get in there. I walked up on him and I just, wasn't moving, wasn't moving, his head was down. And I said, hey, and he just lifted his head up. And so I just, boom, still moving, boom, moved again, boom, like this. I've seen too many horror stories in this stuff to like, I, I feel bad that I shot up the meat, but what do you do when he's still moving around? It's like, I just, it's so thick in here that if he stopped bleeding or something, I don't think he would, he's bleeding a lot, but. We might be able to get him, I kind of want to get him to the beach if we can though, to work on him. He's done. I feel bad about how many times I shot him, but what do you do? That was pretty crazy when, uh, yeah, because we were saw a different bear. And I'm like, I don't think that's the same bear. Like, let's get closer. And then he just left. And uh, so we're like, oh, well, let's go wait for him to come out again. He'll come around the corner and this guy's 150 yards away. Dude, I kind of thought, I was like, because we, like, a Michael move would have been like, oh, we'll just hang out on this point. And then I was like, yeah, it'd be smart to go around. I'm like, and I want to cover that whole thing. And yeah. as soon as I opened it up, I'm like, oh, there he is. I'm like, and he's like, in the snake, like, he's just so black. He's not rubbed yet. And I don't know. I don't think he might not be as big as some of the other bears, but he's just so cool looking. Yeah. And that, this is the one that is like, that one just looks cool. Yeah. So you that, like, you did. we've been arguing about who's going to shoot first. And then Mark is like, I'm going to shoot that one. So I just <laughs> like this one. He's just cool looking. I don't know. Um, but, uh, Congrats, dude. I don't. I don't even know, like. I. I think it's a. I, it's a good bear, but I don't. I don't well, I I'm sure everybody in the comments will let us know. Is yeah. Like, <laughs> I think it looks like good. They always. They always look small. Dude, when it, up on them. I was gonna say like. They just look small. It's crazy. Like that's a, like a paw. Like look at. Oh a, yeah. I mean that's a pretty big paw. I feel like. I just like he was such a. He had a wide head. That's cool. I thought. It's a cool bear, man. It's your first bear. Like for me, in this trip, oh, it's no. not even about the bears. It's no. just about the adventure oh, and like 100%, icing on the cake right here. 100%. No, dude, the experience is just like, it's so cool. Yeah. And like, just to see where these things live out in here. Ah, oh, what a creature. I'm excited. I, I haven't, I haven't experienced a bear for myself. I've eaten other people's bears, but I'm excited to have camp meat too. I brought a, I brought a thermometer to make sure we don't get trichinosis, but. I've but, never cut any bear up no i've cut up the meat i've never skinned one so i'm gonna take my time yeah. skinning it try yeah. to make sure we do it right and everything awesome dude yeah this is super cool it's just like you have i feel like you got like three worlds here you have like the water world like the beach and then you have like that transition like where all these bears are hanging out like in that grassy stuff and then you come in here and it's just like rainforest it's so <laughs> cool well Let's see if we can trade him to the beach for huh? is he is here he is cool Michael just spotted another bear it also looks nice across the way <laughs> we don't have our boats though <laughs> we're not we're gonna I was just telling Marcus if you guys can hear me that we're gonna take care of his bear and then if there's one at camp I'll shoot it but <laughs> Probably gonna take care of his bear today and then I'll try and get one tomorrow. Got a bear on a boat. Well, Michael's got half the bear. 
Dude, it's pretty sweet though. We have the. Uh, we got a cut up bear in our little floaty toys. Yeah, these are actually pretty sick. I was skeptical. There's some good ones. We out of here. We out here. <laughs> Okay, here's my brilliant plan that's for sure gonna work. We're gonna hang meat on there and a tarp, and then we're just gonna, and it's all gonna be elevated. Right. Let's see. I'll help you. I'll help you out, my dude. However you need me. Test it out with some brats so we can kick some bear on there later. It's a brat. Mucho, mucho bueno. That's hot. Heck yeah. Old Hawkett insists that we have to eat some bear meat tonight. Can't find the but thermometer. I, so I was so excited about this moment. I brought a meat thermometer. I cannot find it. I tore apart every dry bag, cooler, both coolers. I can't find it. <laughs> Are you looking in your pack? Why would I put it in my pack? I don't know. I'll look in my pack. But, because I could see you being like, oh, we killed it, we need to eat something, and, uh, you know. Oh, hey, where was the meat thermometer? My pack. <laughs> you never know when you're gonna need to cook bear meat. <laughs> All right. This is a bear tenderloin. I left the fat on it because bear fat's supposed to be good, right? We'll find out. Hundred degrees is enough, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Things kind of curling up into a disgusting looking piece of meat. All that fat on there. We just curled it right up. It took a lot longer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got some bear meat. Some very well done bear meat. <laughs> Definitely silly. <laughs> very chewy. The flavor's fine. This is really well done. I mean, which I guess is what we're going for. Yeah, it doesn't taste bad. No. It's just really chewy. Yeah. Well, that wraps up this episode. Michael still has a tag. We still have fishing poles. And we still have five more days here. Six if you count the day we fly out. So there's a lot of adventure yet to happen. I'm excited. There's a couple, the couple creeks we still need to check out. Uh, to see if there's fish in them and there's a ton of bears around so I can't imagine Michael's not gonna find one that he wants to take home with him we'll, we'll see we'll see I guess you gotta you gotta get up on him too that yeah that one the one I got today he definitely knew we were there like I don't I don't think he was gonna stand around much longer but no this is this is a blast it's such a cool area I mean that's that's the best part of coming up here is just being in this landscape and just seeing this sweet ocean slash island terrain it's just fun super cool and we got to get a bear which is awesome and we're eating the bear right now which is pretty awesome so thanks for watching make sure to come back and see the next episode because i guarantee something exciting is going to happen yeah <laughs> The bear crusher and meat bear crusher. It's actually I it's 
pretty good.